Hello guys. This is the first this is the first recording on on a series of, of recording trying to uh, trying to um, introduce you into the trading world. In this uh, in this first uh, recording I will uh, I will try to to describe the MetaTrader 4 platform. This is a platform mostly used uh, in uh, in trading and just want to show you a couple of features how to um, how to uh, to deal with it when when trying to place a trade or actually what to look for in in, the, in types of charts, currency pairs, spreads, indicators, and so on. Now this um, this meta trader it is probably the most uh, the most um, um, admired so to say platform in in the trading world commercially available. I mean for the normal retailers. I'm not talking about about um, um, terminals and platforms for professional traders like Bloomberg or whatever or eSignal that would be a totally different story but this is commercially available for the regular retail retailer and it is offered actually by any by any let's say broker that uh, respects its um, its uh, its duty so uh, in here in here as you can see in the upper in the upper uh, side you have all the tools needed for for the uh, for uh, for analyzing a currency pair if you if you click for example in, into the file and you want to open a new chart like this you have in here all the currency pairs that are being uh, offered by uh, by the by the broker and this is for example if you choose forex you have in here the euro dollar the us dollar japanese yen and the, the rate between pound US dollar and so on and so forth basically the majors uh, the majors from all over the world euro dollar US dollar Japanese yen great between pound US dollar also being called cable US dollar Swiss franc US dollar Canadian dollar also being called loony New Zealand dollar US dollar being called also kiwi like the fruit and Australian dollar US dollar being also called Aussie. So in the terminology, you can um, you can also uh, find this um, this um, uh, language being used, especially if you go on Twitter or financial communities uh, between traders and so on. And then these are the majors. And then you have crosses, and they are being called crosses because actually uh, they are crosses between um, between the currencies that form one major. See, the euro, Japanese yen is being a cross. The euro Japanese yen is being a cross between the euro dollar and the US dollar Japanese yen, and the euro Great Britain pound between euro dollar and, and cable, euro Swiss franc the same, euro Australian dollar, euro Canadian dollar, and so on and so forth. I would not, uh, I would not uh, go with, uh, with them all. So this was in file, new chart. So if you want to open a new chart, you just click new chart and click your, your currency, your, um, your ideal. Uh, Currency pair, and I clicked. I clicked before the euro dollar, and you have the euro dollar chart in here. As you can see, this is a live, a live chart. Um, the um, the price is moving. We are currently in the 131.06 area, and these are this this is the standard, the default setting that will come with uh, with any chart. Now, in terms of type of charts, you have uh, this is a candlestick chart as you can see in here but you might have a bar chart if you like if you like this approach and if you think that it uh, it will help you most or better and you also have a line chart if you if you want to see the chart all in terms of uh, of what uh, what the line will represent from my point of view i would recommend candles because there is a totally that there is a totally um, uh, let's say um, advanced advanced uh, terminology regarding candlesticks patterns especially especially uh, being uh, being famous being made famous by the japanese so japanese candlestick techniques are quite impressive so um, i prefer using the candlestick but actually you can use all of these uh, uh, three types of uh, of charts then of course you have here you have here the window of uh, the navigator in here and if you click the navigator you will have uh, you will have a window that will open and you can put the window wherever you like like this or like this or like this however suits you I prefer to have it on the right in here 
and in here on the first on the first tab you have uh, the accounts when you should when you should get the the login information for your account your account number and your username and password then you have in here the indicators that you might use in terms of uh, when you want to analyze a currency pair and of course the expert advisors if you want to if you if you have an expert advisor or you develop one or you buy one or whatever <coughs> and you want to apply it on a chart we will do also a webinar regarding this uh, a, re a recording so regarding this expert advisors how to, how to use them then of course you have the custom indicators in here and the scripts so the navigator actually helps you to log in log out and then you might close it from here so click on it and unclick it and you have the uh, uh, the window going and uh, and disappearing now this tab in here it is being called the market watch and on the market watch if you click you have all the currency pairs that are being provided by the broker like this so you may you may just click and drag if you want the currency pair to come to the upside in top of the list or to move, put it on the on the downside of the list um, or you can put it for example you can put a window in here so that you have a big a big window a big window for your for your chart and then for the market for the market watch only to have this um, I don't know a couple of a couple of pair, of pair of pairs to watch with the scroll to the downside it depends very much what uh, what are you interested in what's extremely important also in here is to note the fact that this is this is uh, the market timing see now it is 9:23 in the morning so this is the market timing so when you want to when you want to uh, look at uh, or to initiate a trade and so on and so on you know all the time when a five minute candle or a one minute candle or a one hour candle will close by the second so I would recommend for this one to stay all the time on uh, on, on your chart when you try to analyze uh, a pair then if you if you try to if you would like to place an order to get into the market then uh, just double click on uh, on uh, On an order, for example, or if you if you go like this, for example, you might have uh, you might have a, a different type of, of of an account. This is a pro account, a pro account meaning uh, a pro account meaning it has uh, five it has five uh, five digits. As you can see in here, look at the look at the the number of digits after after the the main figure. So this is. 131 10 9 so this is five digits and it is important to choose a five digit account instead of a four digit account because five digit account meaning means that the the account that is linked through the ECN technolo technology ECN technology meaning electronic communication network that is by the time you are clicking uh, you are clicking on the on the order to be executed, then it will be it will be executed in an instant by uh, um, by by the broker directly on the market. So you'll get the, the direct quotation out of the market. Instead, if you're looking if you're having a, a four-digit account, for example, then or a standard account, then you you might risk when price moves violently into one uh, one side or the other, you might risk to have uh, a requotation and you you may uh, you may miss the a trade or an opportunity so i recommend to leave this uh, on on your chart or if not just click the button and uh, they will disappear also in here this is being called a terminal and if you click the term the terminal the balance will appear in here and if you double click on it it will it will open like this and in here if you have any active trades you would you would actually see that the trades the trades that are being uh, that are being um, made and uh, and um, also you have in here the account history you can see the account history the news this is this, these are the news that uh, that came on uh, on the terminal the news from the market from uh, all over the world regarding financial information and uh, everything that is happening in uh, in the trading world then the alerts you may set alerts mailbox this is the broker is being called Ad admiral market 
but this platform is ex actually a template for all the meta traders in, in the world. You also have uh, the experts tab in here in case you are running an expert and the journal meaning uh, showing you when you when you logged in or logged out and so on and this one usually should stay like this if you don't want to see it just click in here and it will uh, it will disappear and one important uh, one important uh, window that I would like to show you at this uh, introduction um, video is this data window if you click on the data window in here then when you see when you move your mouse over the over the candles on the left side in here you see actually let's move the mouse in here on one candle and you actually see the uh, the date so this is the candle it is from the 5th of April on 2013 and the time 12 o'clock open the price open at 129.19 the high of the candle was 129.36 the low being 129.16 the candle closed in 129.32 and it had a, a volume of 500 now the volume is not the volume of the entire market the uh, foreign exchange market it is the most the most liquid market in the world the, the biggest market in the world but this is only the volume of this specific broker so I don't think that that is extremely relevant the volume but anyways the, uh, this data shows you shows you this this too okay so this being your chart and this is a data window I also recommend for this one to stay in here all the time but you will see on the next on the next recording how are we preparing the working space for uh, for a regular intraday trading so for this for this moment I will I will make this one disappear you can also have a zoom in and a zoom out tool and they work exactly like they are being called zoom in okay and zoom out then um, then in here the expert advisor uh, button if you click on the expert, uh, expert advisor button see the, the color turned green so it is activated or if you click off it is de deactivated and in here this is being called the meta e editor if you click the meta editor actually you can you can just uh, start writing your expert advisor if you have uh, knowledge in programming also on the tab in here, so you have the file, you can save as a picture, the, uh, the entire chart, you can save as a picture, as it is, as is, or as an active chart, you choose the pixels, or an active workspace, depends on your preferences, then uh, you, of course, you can open an account, the login settings, you can print the chart, a lot of, um, a lot of options for languages to view, you can you can choose basically all the languages in the world and of course the insert button this is one of the most important ones with the indicators a lot of indicators and uh, lines, Fibonacci, arrows, pitch force but this will be the, uh, this will be the, uh, the subject of, uh, of, a future, of, of a future recording what's also, uh, what's also important to know I, I forgot to tell you the difference between so in here it is 131.19, 131.99. This is being called a spread. This being a this is being a five-digit account. That the spread it is um, it is quite small. But on a, on a four-digit account, if you go for example in here, see on a four-digit account, for example taking cable in here, Great Britain pound, US dollar, then the value in here is 153.33 and 153.35. So the spread for cable on this broker it is two pips instead of one like on the euro dollar and the spread differs very much from broker to broker and from pair to pair if you look at the US dollar Canadian dollar then the spread is three so what the spread is if you are buying or selling actually first you are paying your broker the spread and then you are looking for your uh, your target to be to be rich this was the first uh, uh, the first recording in, in a series of recording and I just wanted to introduce you to the Meta Trader. And on the next one, we'll look at how to prepare the working space if you are trading on a day to day basis and want to analyze a currency pair. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, stay safe on the markets.